because we actually draw this lines in a really nice way and all the lines is connected to each other, we're going to create uh, like a network data set so we can have a routing option uh, that we can go from a point A to point B and it can show us uh, the, the directions for it. And the way to do this is by going to our catalog, go to the location where you draw your shape file. And we will right click on the shape file. We just edited the lines. And we're going to see an option here say new network data set. We're going to choose this one. You're going to ask us what you want to name the network data set. I'm going to call it routing. And click next. There's so many options we're going to see right now. But there's only one option I need you to change right here is the connectivity. And the connectivity here, it say that each line is going to connect to the other line using the endpoint, which means that all the lines going to work in a way that if the line is not connected to the end line, it's not going to be able to route through it. So we can change this by come here and it's selected to be any vertex. So that means that when a line is connected to a vertex in the line, it will be able to make all these lines connected to vertexes as one network data set. So we're going to say OK. Next, we're not going to discuss this right now here. Next, next, next. We're going to have a network uh, analysis course that we will discuss all the network analysis options in more details. Right now, let's add finish. It's asked us the network data set has been created. Would you like to build it? I'll say yes. It's building the network data set. And now you're going to see that we have two files have been created called routing.nd and routing junctions, which is intersections. Now we have our routing data set have been created for us. We go back to ArcMap and we add this network data set, add data, and we add double click on here. It asks us, do you want to also add the feature classes that participate in the routing? And that means because we just created the, the network data set using these lines, it actually make a copy out of this line. And it's, it's asking us right now, do you want to add these lines also? I'll say yes, why not? And as you see, if I hide the shapefile line, I'm going to see this is the actual network with the points, the intersections, and the endpoints, and the lines. And you can also change how the lines look like. For example, we're going to change the streets right now to look like this. OK. And this is going to be our network. Now, the fun part is to actually do routing. And the way to do this is to right click here and enable the network analysis. And you're going to see this one here. And it's already automatically choosing the routing data set as its network data set because we have a network data set here. And I'm going to come here and say, I want to create a new route. There's so many options that can you can try and like see what it does. But right now, we're going to focus on creating a new route. And you should be able to see this. Sometimes you will not be able to see this. And the reason you're not going to be able to see these two options to add the points is because you don't have the network analysis extensions enabled. So if I go to customize and open the network analysis and disable this one and click close, everything is going to be disabled. And most likely, this how it's going to look like when you open the network analysis toolbar that is automatically disabled. So you need to go to customize, go to extensions, and make sure you have the network analysis enabled, close. And now you have your options enabled here. Now you're going to select Create Network Location Tool, which is actually adding the points from point 1 to, I want to go from here to here, and then go to here, and then end up here. And now all what I need to do to see my route is to say Solve. And here we go. It shows me the direction from 1 to 2, 3, all the way there. There's so many options to do here, and we can view the actual stops and we can add barriers and also we can select it to change the points or the stops and uh, maybe choose new service area instead of a new route. There's so many options we can do with the network analysis. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to ArcGISMastery.com. 
and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.